Yo. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just sitting here trying to stay cool. How are yeah, you? It's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. Yeah. Well, we, it is hot. We got lucky, it's 100 though. degrees or something. Yeah. But it's um, June 29th as we speak. Mm-hmm. And normally, I mean, when did you and I used to go do Warp Tour? Like early June, and it was already 1,000 degrees. So we, yeah, we got kind of lucky. We yeah, had an all right year. Uh, I saw a couple of sports-related things. I don't know why I always want to ask you about sports at the beginning of the show. But perfect game last night. Perfect game last night. Yep, that, turned that, it on. It was good. That was big news. Oh, you did? You saw yeah. that it was happening? Like you saw a tweet or something? And Yeah, and then like, turn it on, you know, and watch the 8th and ninth inning. But uh, so The perfect game is the best the pitcher can do yeah so he that means no, no walks and no walks uh, no walks no hits okay right. but there That's is it. like a no hitter right? there's a no hitter but no you hitter. can walk you someone can walk or somebody them. could get on an so an a perfect error. game is the best you could possibly 27 up 27 down okay yeah and i think how many did does they say there's been so does that have to be 27 strikeouts or can they hit it and get you know oh, no, get they can on hit the it. outfield right. okay yeah. but that's still an out okay yeah so 27 up 27 down but that's like the ultimate Mount Perfect Everest game. There's only been 24. As long okay, as they don't, as long as they don't get a base. As long as it, you know, it doesn't count. Right, as a but hit. you could get a no hitter and walk four people. Okay, and but a, a couple game, errors. No one got on base. No one got on base. Got yeah, and I don't know how many um, no hitters there have been. I just didn't 24. know if that was like the best. No, no, no hitters. Oh, a bunch. There's been quite a few. I mean, it, it used to be a bigger deal. It felt like, right? Or am I wrong? It's still a big deal. I, mean, I know it's a big deal, but didn't it seem like we went through a phase there where there were quite a few of them? There's a couple like, of them oh. last year for sure. But then to have a perfect game—that's what this is. When was the last is, time right? that happened? I think it, there was more than one last year, maybe. Perfect game or no? No, 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 per, no hitters. Yeah. No, there, when's the last time a perfect game happened? That I don't 2012. know. 2012. Okay, is that what Seriously. they Seriously. Oh, so it's like Felix, really Felix big Felix deal. Hernandez. There's only been 24 of them in the wow. entire time they've done baseball. Oh, they've done baseball for like 300 years. Yeah. yeah. So 24 total. That's, uh, that's... Damn. That's pretty good. What's his name? Uh, oh, I, man, I, I forget I have now. it. Hold on. His name is... Uh, oh, where is he? That, his last two starts... Domingo start- uh, Herman. Yeah. Right? His last two starts were horrible. I thought maybe he was pitching to stay in the rotation. I'd never heard of him before. I mean, is it someone that you've heard of? Well, I guess yeah. you probably have. But it's not like, he's not like a big star or anything, is I he? I don't know. And I know him. I, I mean, I know him because I think his last start was against the Mariners when we watched him. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, the question that I want to ask you, sports-related, was about something that came up. You know, yesterday we had our little company uh, picnic. Yeah. I was talking to the sports guys from from the sports station while I was out there, just saying, you know, what what do you guys talk, talk about now? What's going on in mm-hmm. sports? And they were he was one of our friends, Jay. You know him. He was talking mm-hmm. about how the big news, or at least one of the big stories, is just gambling and players gambling and yeah. them being confused about the rules. Now, I didn't know. I didn't realize that. I, I guess I just assumed that players were barred from gambling on. Uh, any sports no. a- at all, or at least maybe uh, any sports in their league? Uh, you know, they're I don't know exactly from, how they broke NFL it down. NFL players, that's the story. NFL players are barred from gambling on the NFL. Yeah, okay. But they can gamble on other sports. But they can't gamble from their facility. So, And what does that mean? He said that. That means like within the, the anything that the team owns? Or yeah. The, okay. So, so, their training facility or whatever. They can't gamble from there. I don't know why that rule is, but it is. And so the Lions had some a couple guys suspended for a year for gambling on the NFL, and then one of their better players uh, suspended for six months for gambling while he was at the training facility. And then the Colts got some people suspended today, and they said there's going to be more of them. Yeah, and I, the thing that I keep seeing, I don't know why they're wording it this way, maybe you do, but it's talking about how players confused about – gambling rules right I'm like are they confused or did they just think i won't get caught i mean i don't know are they using sports betting apps like we do yes, are they going to yes. a sports book or you think they're just using an app yeah and i think they sports? get it from like a locker room or whatever you know there's an nba game on they bet during the nba somehow it gets trans you know tracked to them the so, nfl becomes aware and they suspend them this is from uh less well about an hour ago it says nfl hands out four more gambling suspensions Plus, ranking the top 10 safeties heading into... Okay, I don't need to know the top 10 safeties heading into the season. But four, the big story is that there's been four more players mm-hmm. that have been um, suspended. I know that you are pro-legal gambling. Yes. Um, and I know that you... I'm pretty sure you were pro-Vegas getting a team. Like, weren't you one that always yeah, thought sure. that was a dumb thing to say, yeah. well, you can't have a team because there's so much gambling here, especially mm-hmm. since there's gambling everywhere? The only thing I think... Uh, I mean, I do think UNLV should be off the board. Okay. I think you've explained why like you can't why before, bet. Because but. I think college kids, and maybe with name, image, likeness, that'll change. Mm-hmm. But I think with college kids having no money, yeah, I think that's really ripe for somebody to come in and be like, dude, mm-hmm. 
You wouldn't have to give them that much money. You'd have to be, be, at least two years ago. You could be like, I give you six grand. You missed that field goal. That's a lot of money to a college kid with no money. Of course. Right? And now you're bringing in more people who could afford that six, ten grand, right? Right. Uh, you know, but to try to say to you know Derek Carr, I'll give you two million if you you know screw right. this up on purpose. Like it's not worth it to him. No. So, and that's one of the things... I don't know what money you'd have to pay, you know, a a big-time NFL player who could actually affect the outcome of the game. It'd have to be a lot. That's one thing about the NFL. You watch that uh, 30... Or I guess it was that Netflix documentary about the NBA scandal. Uh, I guess it was college basketball uh, scandal. They had both. They did the NBA with the ref, and then they did that college basketball oh, thing. Those yeah, were yeah, both yeah. from that Netflix it documentary, was like the right? Same production company. Yeah, yeah, that Netflix thing was really good, it by was. the way. I thought all those stories were good. But when you have one star player like that on a basketball team, and, and not only can one player make a difference, I don't remember that guy's name that Netflix talked about. Uh, I know that he was a big star in college. It didn't sound like maybe he was quite as big a star in the yeah. NBA. But the way that he was able to kind of turn it off and then turn it back on. You know, it, it wasn't right. obvious that he no, was, it wasn't. It, he really did a good job, and I'm sure others would have a tougher time. But just even knowing that that's a possibility, I would have thought before watching that that an expert could see some of the signs that someone might be point-fixing or – was I saying that right? Yeah, right, point-fixing. Point-shaving. Point-shaving or whatever. But when you watched him play, at least in those highlights, you see that first half, and then you see what happens in the second half, and you're like – this guy really didn't throw up any red flags. No, I mean, no. he did a good job. He looked like he was trying. Right. Didn't look like he was getting rid of the ball a lot or passing the ball or just airballing the ball. He was so good that he could take those shots and they just bounce off the rim and you're like, oh, so close. I mean, that's a skill in and of itself. But you're talking about college players, you know, possibly having too much incentive to want to gamble because of the money issue. That's what I was talking to the sports guys about yesterday at lunch was you're talking about pro uh football players right. who presumably make decent money, yeah. uh, you know, what we would consider quite decent money, and yet they still have this urge to bet. And even if they didn't know exactly what the rules were, it's like, well, but why do you need to do it at, at all? Gamble? Just, to, to gamble? On why, why to gamble on the NFL. To gamble on the NFL. You know what I mean? Like, just if you think, like, ah, this might get me in trouble, because didn't you say a couple of them got released? Like, they actually did. Released, a couple right? of lines got released. Can they play they fantasy? Is that considered gambling? Know. Yeah, probably. Like for a free league? If there's no money involved, I couldn't imagine. Then that it wouldn't be see. gambling if there's right? no money involved. I think involved. I've heard of players talking about. You know, well, I know baseball players and... play NFL fantasy because the and someone on Twitch or listening can join on Twitch and tell me who it is. But one player punched another player in the dugout okay. for making a dumb trade in an NFL fantasy wow. thing. And then Mike Trout was the commissioner. Okay. And they asked him about it, but that was still no big deal because it was NFL uh, baseball players betting on NFL fantasy. Yeah, I was trying to. So, I mean, what sport? What pro sport would be the toughest to fix as a player? Because I mean, presumably any sport, especially if you're one of the star players. Because if it's baseball, a pitcher could make a huge difference, right? Yes, of course. Huge. Sure. I would think that as a position goes. You know, it's not like Mike Trush is going to say, "Well, we're going to win Catcher. this game, so I'll get, I'll make sure I get three Catcher. home runs." Catcher, because yeah. you call it, you know, you could be like, "Well, throw the fastball again." Yeah, of course, the umps right. could, the umps could, for sure. could absolutely have an impact on the game. So baseball is not immune. Field goal kickers. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's missing good, extra good. points, mm-hmm. yeah. and we've seen it before, right. where you just get, you know, what do they call it? The when you when you you get spooked or yeah, right, the guy uh, from the Cowboys, you get the jitters, and you just yeah, I can't remember what they call it in the right. NFL, but. You just start missing things that you shouldn't be missing, and it just goes on for the rest of the game. Of course, Kansas City thinks of uh, what was his name, Lynn Elliott. Elliott. Yeah, yeah. Lynn Elliott. Yeah. So we know that happens. I don't, I'm guessing he wasn't getting paid for that. What was that right. called? Uh, yeah, they, they got a name for it's it. Amazing. I can't the, remember the, the yips. The yips. Yeah, he's, yes. got, he's got the yips. He's just missing these kicks That's now. It, yeah. So that would be an interesting position to pay someone. You know, just hey, if this is going to be a close game, like any time the Chiefs play these top ranked teams, that the, you'd see the spread. The thing you probably like three couldn't points. make sure. No, it's not going to guarantee anything. Right. Right? Yeah. It's not going to guarantee it. But if you think it's going to be a close game between two teams and they're going to go back and forth, then missing all those extra points. And you can probably, I mean, there's gamblers who could do the math. You know, like if the game's a three-point game. Yep. Well, it's probably worth it to me if I know this guy's going to miss a field goal and for an three extra points. Point. So I'm mm-hmm. actually getting, I know now I'm getting six points. Yeah. Yeah. Because no. I know they're going to take three points off the top because he's going to miss one. It's just that advantage. Not a right. guarantee. Not a guarantee, right. but, not a guarantee but an advantage. Right. Yeah. And also, if the kicker misses a field goal, extra point, some of those things early on in the game, I don't know 
how often teams have had someone that can come in and as a backup and say, you know what, Never. we're going to let the punter do it or whatever. I remember it happening to the Chiefs once. The, something they someone got hurt. hurt exactly yeah, someone that, got hurt uh, and i and think then they, they have to go to an the, emergency thing but yeah and then they brought in the i think it was the punter to do it but so but my, if you missed one kind of long field goal in the second quarter nobody's gonna think twice about it right but we know now from these stories about these nfl players getting in trouble they're gonna gamble i mean we already knew they were gonna gamble we know that people gamble rich people gamble poor people gamble right, and, so and, and rich, rich. rich people uh can just afford to gamble I mean, more to say why wouldn't nfl players gamble that's like why wouldn't anybody gamble? Right, no, i'm saying just on the nfl if they're confused about the rules like i'll just gamble i can I sports think about some all of these them things. said that they thought like pete rose to some degree like i think they thought nobody's accused that I know of, at least right now, of gambling on their own team. Right. Mm. It's other teams. So I think they were like, well, we can gamble. We just can't gamble. If I play for the Lions, I can't gamble on a Lions game. That makes sense. But I can gamble on a Chargers-Broncos game. Who cares? And so I think they got caught doing that. Mm. So what's your point? And then the other guys, they didn't even gamble. Like, so Jameis Williams, J-Mo, they suspended him for six games. Mm Mm-hmm. And some of these Indianapolis Colts for gambling on a different sport than the NFL, but they did it from their facility. The team facility, That's facility the thing which I, I don't understand. understand. So, and I yeah. think the team facility could be, as far as what I've read, could be the bus. Mm. Or it could be the parking lot, hotel. So, right, yeah. Uh, and I, I'm, I don't know if hotels would count, but I mean, you're right. It could be right. Like for it. There's an argument, there. right? And so, but certainly he could be jumping in his car. And being like, oh, damn, you know, the Yankees are about to play. Let me put ten grand on this. Gambles on his phone in his car mm-hmm. and then leaves and goes home to watch the game. Mm-hmm. That's six games. That doesn't wow. make any sense to me. Wow. Yeah, it says NFL suspended three players indefinitely on Thursday for betting on league games. Cornerback Isaiah Rogers and tight end Rashad Berry were released by the Indianapolis Colts after damn. the NFL announced their suspensions. The third suspended player, defensive tackle Demetrius Taylor, was not uh, on an NFL roster after playing in one game for the Lions last season. NFL also suspended Tennessee Titans offensive tackle uh, Nicholas Petit. Fr- how do you say it? Uh, Nicholas Petit Free Free Freire. Does this seem like something that everyone's doing? Those people just got for six caught? games. I don't. Well, I imagine know. they would tell you there's a lot of people doing this. Well, I've heard like the rumors are that there's a lot more coming. Okay. So I don't know how. My thing is like I'm not exactly sure how they're getting. The info. Well, I wonder who owns That's the phones. That's what I don't understand. Does the NFL provide them with phones? Like, could they see if they're I mean, gambling? Could know. they check the Wi-Fi uh, at, at the facility hotel. to see if it's accessing these yeah. gambling sites? But how would they know which player did it? Right. Then they have it to check. It almost feels the, like the betting sites have to be telling them. Yeah. I mean, I, look, I don't know how the technology works. So, in my head, it's almost like the NFL has a deal with. I mean, obviously, we know they have deals with. Mm-hmm. These sports books. They sure. get a percentage yep. of it sure. and everything else to allow them to do it. That's what made them start doing it. So maybe in that con and, and I really don't know, and somebody probably knows, but maybe in that contract with DraftKings or whatever it is, it says if you see an NFL player gambling, you need to alert us right away of their location and what they gambled on. Hmm. What kind of contracts do the players have with the team? Does it say, like, we're allowed to search your phone? At well, some point, no, you know but I, mean? I wonder, like, it... it and they I could. have no idea. It could well, be. Well, no. We're, we're, we're allowed to monitor your Wi-Fi. The only reason why I say no is because Brady was like, you can't look at it. Well, Brady. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right, exactly. so it must not yeah. be in the contract because they were like, we want to see your phone. He's like, yeah, well. Yeah. For Brady. But it yeah. might have been his phone. I, and it might be a contract saying like, we're allowed it. to monitor <laughs> yeah. your activity when you're in our facility over, you know, over Wi-Fi. Like yeah, you but if saying. they were checking to see if the Wi-Fi, if the Internet at the facility had access to these sports betting sites, yeah. Then you would think if they're doing that, then they would just block access to those sports betting sites. Because right. if they're saying you can't bet on any sports right. uh, within the facilities, right. then you'd think they would just block them. Now, maybe it's possible that they're like, oh, we missed one. The I don't EDM know. But something. yeah, I'm curious. Because that, that was my first thought. Well, the they see. Lions, there was also some staff. Mm. And, and they get in trouble? Yeah, and I don't think they were coaches or anything. They were like, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't see anything well, about that. It said they suspended it's probably just five like a mouth. It's probably just like someone spilling a secret, right? Like so and so won this much on this game. I don't know. No, because I'm guessing talk? people would shut up about it. I really think it's, it's got to be people. a deal. It's got to be a deal that we, because even if it was just somebody, they wouldn't be able to prove that you did it at the facility. True. Like oh, he bet and he bet in the parking lot. Like that's too much. True. 
True. That you just be like, no, I didn't. I was in my car and I had already left the facility. I was on yeah. the street outside of it. There's no way. But if they can geotag you, it's got to be yeah. the betting sites telling them. It's got to be because we know the betting sites check your location. They know exactly where you are. True. Yeah. Because whenever I log in, it's like if you I tried to, to make sure I tried to state. bet something the other day when I was at Chacho's game. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, look, I want to bet on this because I was watching it, and then it. Checked in and was like, you're not in Kansas, man. I was yeah. like... And you have to put in God your bank damn information it. and your name. So, I mean, yeah. they could just run your name. Right. You know? Your name comes the up. Team gives it the comes up of- with a location. If it pings them that you're at the, any of the Chiefs facilities, you automatically have to tell the NFL. That's, I bet you that's in the contract or else yeah. they don't get their 20% or whatever that they're getting through. Because the NFL has a sense to take it very seriously and make sure it's not happening. Right. Yes. Well, the worst thing pandemic. that can happen in the NFL or any major right. sport is that... It, it turns out. into wrestling. Exactly. So therefore, right? it would make exactly. sense. I mean, people would. still like wrestling, but they're not going to watch football no. if they know no. it's fake. And that's what they're scared of. They right. want to make the money, but they're scared of that. And my thing is, and this is where I become a little conspiratorial, as these suspensions are coming in, they said there could be more. Maybe these were the, the more. I'm not sure. But I could absolutely see if the NFL saw something like, you know, uh, a player was betting against his own team, mm-hmm. right? If they caught something like that, I, I mean, I, I have a suspicion the NFL wouldn't tell us that. I have a suspicion yeah. the NFL is not going to come out and say, we caught up. this player and he was betting against his own team because they don't want that news getting out there. So instead they say, we're taking it seriously. Look, we've suspended these players. They did it in facilities. Yes, it was other games and blah, blah, blah. But they don't oh, want to scandal I, I like that. I think they would. You think they would say? I just think they'd be so I think they. I, I think there's two, you know, I don't know if the player would have to sign a non-disclosure. But I think if somebody bet against their own team, they'd just ban them for life. they do yeah. the Pete Rose thing. Mm-hmm. And just, do. you're the... You're the one guy, and you're never playing football again. You're not allowed in an NFL arena. You're not like – because I don't think anybody thinks baseball's fixed after the whole Pete Rose thing. No. no. Right? You're like, man, they still won't let that dude in. Right. No, I agree. Like, and everybody's like, you should let Pete in. Yeah. Right. I mean, all he did was – and what they say is that he bet on himself to win. Right. That's the other thing. You're like, well, Pete said – you know, and you're like, well, you, you, let, you have guys who did steroids in. Yeah. I think you're right. I think the NFL has contracts that say you have to tell us. About it. That has I bet. To be. it must. The incentive says, to stop that is so huge for them. Yeah. The outbreak, and I'm sure they did it, and now they and have that deal, and you, you know, and FanDuel probably doesn't feel great about it, but they're like, hey, in order for us to get our money, the hell are you gonna do? We got to. This is the contract we signed with the NFL. Kiss the ring. Yep. yep. It says the outbreak of suspensions has prompted questions about the effectiveness of the NFL's gambling education program. So, and that's the thing that you know, just seeing those headlines about they're confused. It's like, well, you know. It, it, betting on another sport in your own facility, that I could see myself just forgetting even. Just like you tried to gamble in Missouri, were saying, you know? Yeah. But if you're betting football, you got to think, like, you, how, I how much training do you We'll need. see if anybody gets caught after these. Yeah. Because it may be a thing where, like, the same thing. Like, they told us we couldn't gamble. I assumed it was on our team. Yeah. How are you going to stop me from gambling on a team that I'm not on? I can't control that game. I think maybe they thought that. Now, I don't know. I'm sure they told them over and over and over again. Supposedly they have this education program. Right. And they say that gambling, you can't gamble on anything. So you're not, I guess, even supposed to play craps with your friends. No gambling on uh, any club or facility or venue. Yeah. So it says uh, gambling in any club or NFL facility or venue. There's no gambling of all, of any type. It prohibits all gambling. So that part you go, okay, am I in a facility? Like you said, Snowcone, is this hotel? It might be. They paid for it. I could see right. someone forgetting on that. On the bus? The yeah. bus isn't a facility. Right. That's it's true. A bus. That's true. Am I on a plane? Right. Does that count? Well, no, who knows train? where they are? I did see somebody. This is embarrassing, but I go to some Detroit Lions forums. There's seven of us. But uh, they posted a picture of the. It's like a you know like a placard around here. Yeah, and it just has the rules like you know you can't. But like if that was just put up here, you might just walk by it and of not course. even it's look like at the OSHA it. Thing you know, in right. the yeah. Room. yeah. You know, had- hey, remember when gambling? And it's got this long list of things. I can see guys like what I don't. Whatever. It says Coach Ryans of the Texans uh, says he's gone over the league's gambling rules with players. He says, quote, we've seen the penalties that have come down on some of these players. I've met with our players, and we discussed the gambling. We wanted to make sure they understand the gambling policy, what we can do and cannot do as players and also as employees of the NFL. I tell the guys it's best to just stay away from it. 
What are uh, what are you gaining from gambling on games versus what you stand to lose with your NFL career? Right. It's just not worth it. My advice to our guys is stay away from all of it. You get you got nothing to gain. Right. Yeah, but man, people love to gamble. And I would my final. And thing I don't was, love it if you. I mean, to me, like I get, maybe you say, look, you can't bet on the NFL at all. And I don't even know that the NFL would have to make that rule. Yeah, I feel like the gambling sites could make that rule. Like, if you play in the NFL, you can't bet on the NFL. Because they could just say, look, you have – because guys probably do have inside information. Yeah. I mean, how – I mean, you you, you went to college with him for four years. He's your best buddy. He's like, what's going on over there? And you're like, well, I'll tell you what. I can't bet on it. I know, but he's not feeling well. But Mahomes' knee is worse than you think. Exactly. His ankle's fine, bro. Yep. Right? Like, that is insider information. That's Everybody's trying to guess that you know for a fact yep. your best friend plays with, and I'm just throwing that out the cheese because we're here. I'm not saying that that happened. Don't take it the wrong way. But your best friend is the backup running back on the Cowboys, and he's like, yo, Dak ain't coming back this week. Everybody's talking about that this is the week he's coming back. He ain't coming back. Yeah. Well, you're like, well, Fifty thousand dollars on that, <laughs> right? Like, of course, right? I and mean, it's if a I, rush, if I, like you said, that's right? Just the money. It doesn't mean you're going to win. Yeah, but now here's some real inside information that you can have. Ian Rappaport said that the NFL tried to break it down to make it even simpler, so they've got six rules, and he tweeted out what the six rules are for NFL players. Number one, don't bet on the NFL. Number two, don't gamble at your team's facility while traveling for a road game or staying at a team hotel. There you go. Number three, and that don't just says gamble. That's gamble period. Yeah, they yeah. said no gambling. And no that other gambling thing, they said all. no gambling yeah. of any type. So yeah. one guy that got suspended for six games, they didn't say he gambled on the NFL. Yeah, he yeah. could have been He hockey. was just in the facility. Yeah. He, yeah, he could have been playing some sort of gambling thing on his right. phone where you get paid. I don't know. Yeah. Number three, don't have someone else bet for you. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Don't share team inside information is number four. Obviously. Number five, don't enter a sports book during the NFL playing season. Don't go in. Don't step foot. Okay. Can't go into a sports book. And number six, don't play daily fantasy football. So oh, that answers your they, final okay. question. Okay. No fantasy. Yep. All right. There it is.